myself dr chandrappa professor department of ec so today i'll going to discuss about a uh, few instructions means that uh, the today's session i will cover some of the important uh, instruction and with some examples so first i'll start with data reverse ordering instructions three to four instructions used to the byte of data it become reverse or half word of data it become reverse or same half word of data it is reverse and extended with sign extended bits and bit reverse instructions so these are the important few instructions i'll going to discuss now first one i'll come to that rev rd comma rn so here destination registers this is it may be a source registers okay once comes to that rd equal to reverse of rn the content whatever the data it is there in this registers it will become reverse byte in word and stored in the destination registers rd and similarly another registers rev16 rd comma r so the syntax of these registers it is like this the content of rn half byte of data it's become reverse and results stored in this destination register rd similarly almost similar in section rev sh destination registers and source registers so here the content of rn reverse the half word byte of data reverse the half word data and sign extend it to the msp that results stored in the destination registers rd now i will take some suitable examples with all these instructions now i'll come to the first instruction rev reverse the byte order in data word so we have 32 bit configurations our data that is what we are use rev dot w indicates that it is 32 bit of data so split into that bytes totally have four bytes four bytes into eight bits equal to 32 bit now please look into these here the bit 0 to bit 7 bit 8 to bit 15 and bit 16 to bit 23 the last byte bit number 24 to bit number 31 so totally you have four bytes this is the lower byte so this is higher byte so means that low byte from lsp will be considered as like this once you have to execute these instructions see here the lower byte the bit number 0 to bit number 7 comes to here the arrow it indicates that only the byte of data it is reverse it indicate here and similarly the next byte of data from bit number 0 to bit number 15 it reverse it comes to here and bit number 16 to bit number 24 another byte it become reverse reverse like is here and the last byte here bit number 24 to bit number 31 comes to here to become lsp see this reverse the byte order in data over only the byte of data it is become reverse now i can take example before going to execute this instruction i assume if r0 equal to it indicates hexadecimal value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44
five six seven eight. In executing the following instruction, like R E V R one comma R zero, it means that the content of R zero it become reverse the byte order in the word result stored in R one. Now here, so we can first group that byte of data. It is seven and eight. It become one byte. Five and six is another byte. Then three four is a one more byte, and finally one two is a the last byte. So totally it is thirty two bits. Now it's become. The first byte data it comes to here. See here, seven eight. According to that, the black representations. Then next will comes to the next byte of data. It become five six. Is it correct? Now, so the next byte three four goes to here. Three four. Then finally the last byte one two. So the one two is become. So here is another the last byte. So it indicates that after the execution, this is what the result. Okay, we will see that. So we will see this. See. Sorry. See the result. Sorry, think. Uh, yeah, R one will become seven eight six three five six three four and one. This is what. So what we return is seven eight five six three four one two. See here seven eight five six three four one two. Get my point. This is what it's called as reverse the byte order in data word. So here, one small confusions when we are going to write it in the examinations. The bit reverse instruction is different. Byte reverse instruction is different. This is what here reverse the byte order. The byte order it become reverse. Okay, this is what. So come to the conclusion of first instruction. It is called as reverse instruction. R E V instructions. Okay. Now next I will go to the one more instruction. R E V sixty. So what for this instruction? R E V sixteen. So here reverse byte, reverse byte in each of word. Please look into it. Same thing again here. Zero to seven. Eight to fifteen, sixteen to twenty-three, twenty-four to thirty-one. Eight bits. If you have any confusions, please write it. So bit number zero to bit number seven, bit number eight to bit number fifteen, fifteen bit number sixteen to bit number twenty-three. So then bit number twenty-four to Thirty-one. So totally, it is grouped into eight bit, eight bit. It is equal to one byte. So in this case, reverse byte in each half word. In each half word is nothing but see here. The bit number zero to bit number eight comes to here. Bit number eight to bit number fifteen it comes to here. Bit number sixteen to bit number twenty-three comes to here, and the last byte, bit number twenty-four to bit number thirty-one, the last byte comes to here. 
Suppose I can label it. This is what the number of it. One, two, three, four. The byte. The byte after the execution, the first byte comes to here. The second byte goes to here. Third byte comes to here. So fourth byte comes to here. Okay, we can take that example. Okay, this is what the example. Even though we take that example, please, this is what we considered the example R zero. Usually, we will take that that instruction R E V H R. See here, R E V. 16 R2 comma R0. The R0 is made up of this is the value hexadecimal representation with hexadecimal values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Same number in the similar in the previous example. Now, so it will be labeled as this is what these two it becomes to the one byte, it becomes one. This is what become second byte, byte number three, and this is byte number three, and this is what byte number four. So after the executing this instruction, what it comes? Three comes first, see here, three comes first, then four, then one, finally it is two. So like that, I will write it, so three become first. Three become first means. So what is that result? Three. Three four. Then four it become next. One two. Then one it becomes seven eight. So the last it become two. Five six. This is what the final result after the executions. Please look into it. The last, the R2 is given. R2 is 3, 4, 1, 2, 7, 8, 5, 6. Is it correct? See here, this is correct. So, 3, 4, 1, 2, 7, 8, 5, 6. Once execute this instruction REV 16 R2 comma R0 or the other way REVH instruction we used, the result will become 3, 4, 1, 2, 7, 8, 5, 6 with the hexadecimal representation. This is what this is what the result after executing this instruction. Okay, so now I'll come to the conclusion of these instructions. Here also it is similar to the previous instructions, but reverse byte in each of what? In the previous instruction, reverse bytes in each word. But this one, reverse bytes in each of what? HLF of what? Even though once you have to remember these block representations, then you can easily analyze the final output. Okay, now I'll go to the next instruction. REVSH. Reverse bytes in bottom upward and sign extended the result. So here, of word data it's become reverse but ir byte of data he extended to sign sign extended is nothing but it become one 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 like that it become in the hexadecimal form ff ff so now we are not going to disturb so i'm not going to disturb with the 
higher byte. So I'm going to take byte number one, byte number two. So it means that bits considered zero to bit seven is a one byte. Bit number eight to bit number fifteen. It is totally considered only two bytes. It is nothing but half four. Half word of byte it become reverse. So one it becomes year, two it becomes year. The extended bit will become one one one. One 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 means in the hexadecimal form you return C F all one one like this. Extended sign bit. So for this instruction. R E V S H dot W it indicates the thumb instruction mode means that 32 bit reverse bytes in bottom upward and sign extended results. Here R E V S H is similar to R E V H except that it only processes the lower upward and then it sign extended the result. The sign extended the result become 111 FF. So now I can take that example. Now the example will become R0 is hexadecimal representation with the numbers 33448899. So after execute these instructions, REVSH R1, R0. Once execute this instruction, so what is the final output? Now I can group that. 99 is a one byte, 88 is another byte. So only swap these two bytes. The remaining thing it will be, it will not consider, it will be extended to the higher byte. So it means that the result it will become here. After that, we will consider only these two bytes. 99 comes. First, 88 goes to the next, and the extended bit will become so FF, FF. So, with hexadecimal representation. This is what the result. So, now please look onto this CF, FF, FF9988. This is what the result after executing REVSH. So now I'll come to the conclusions of these instructions. REVSH reverse byte in bottom upward and sign extended the remaining bits. So that is what we'll consider only two bytes of data it become reverse. That is lower byte of data it become reverse. Then IR bytes considered as sign extended. Sign extended means it become 1111. If it is 111, means nothing but hexadecimal representation, FF, FF, and then a reverse lower byte. Whatever the lower bytes is there from 0 to 7 and bit number 8 to bit number 15. Now from LSP, first comes to the bit number 8 to bit number 15, then bit number 0 to bit number 7. This is what after executing these instructions. OK. Now I'll come to the last instruction from these reverse instructions. So please look into this reverse bit. The RBIT, the reverse bit instruction, reverse the bit order in data world. In the data word is nothing but the all bits of data to represent become in the reverse order. So now we look into this syntax rbit.w. Rd is destination registers. Rn is the source register. Rd is the destination registers. Rn is source register. The content of this RN, it become reverse and results stored in RD. 
they will be triggers. So we can write like this. So for the comments, we should write like this. So RD equal to reverse of reverse of R in. The reverse is nothing but reverse bit. RB8. This syntax or the apparent it is RB8. The reverse bit instruction. Okay. So n is nothing but here number of useful processing serial bit streams. N is number of bits. All the content Rn it become reverse. So now I can take examples. That examples here. Now we will consider the value of R1. If R1 equal to the hexadecimal representation with B4, E1, 0C, 2, 3. Any hexadecimal numbers during these instructions must convert into the binary form. The binary form is nothing but C here. Either you can start from LSB or MSB that is left to you. B, H, 2, 1. Means that it is 11. 11 in the hexadecimal B. Then 0, 1, 0, 0, 4. Then 1, 1, 1, 0. 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 1, 13. 13 is nothing but E. Please look into it. Then 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then 0, 0, 0. All bits 0. It indicates 0 only. Then C. 8 plus 4. C. 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. 0, 0, 1, 1, 3. Now what is the result for this instruction? Once you execute this instruction, C here, R, B, I, T, or W, R, 0, comma, R, 1. What for this result? Now it is very simple. All bit it become reverse. So that will be reverse is nothing but you can write like this. 1100. 0, 0. You have to start from here. 1100. 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. As, is, uh, as it is, no change because it is 0. Then 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 then 0 0 1 0 and the last one is 1 1 0 1 now we make it group this is what 4 8 plus 4 c 4 c 4 3 0 8 7, 2, B, 8 plus 4, 12, plus 1, 13. It is become B. So now, please look into this, the result. Look into this result here. 0x, C4, 30, 87, 2D. The binary expression, please, what we have written, it is correct. 110, one, here 110. One, zero. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. It is all 4 bit 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. See here. After completing these instructions, after executing these instructions, so we are getting like this. So all bits. All bit means from MSB, LSB bits become MSB bits. That order is very important. All bits should become in the reverse from right to left. That is very simple. We are not consider any byte. We are not consider any word. Only bit it become reverse. That is what we represented is called as RBIT. B for bit. Okay, this is what the another important 
reverse instruction. So, for these four instructions, reverse instruction, so L fuel in some of the programming are manipulating the instructions, uh, sorry, manipulating the data in the programmer. We can change their order, their convenience, they are going to use. But these kind of instructions are not available in any other microcontroller. It is available only in this controller only that is called as Cortex M3 process. Okay, so now this today's session, it is very important even in the examination point of view. In the examination, only they are asking about explain the following instruction RBIT, REV, RESH. So we can only then given the apparent only, you should take example. Even apparent also you can take. Usually two apparent with suitable examples. You have to explain clearly each instruction carries three to four marks. For that purpose, so all of you can understand all these four instructions. First one it is REV instruction, then REV SH, then so now I'll go I'll go back. Just I'll summarize. See here. REV, REV 16, REV SH, then RBIT. So RBIT. I'll write it. R B I T R D comma R. These four instruction it is very important. So reverse the byte in word. The content of RN it become reverse and stored in RD. The content of RN of half word it become reverse and stored in the destination registers. Now the content of RN with lower half word it become reverse, but higher byte it is sign extended. The result stored in RD. Similarly, here the content of RN all bits of the content of RN it become reverse and result stored in RD. Okay, this is what the today's sessions. So these are the things we cover. Okay, so next class I will continue with some more important instructions. Okay, thank you, thank you very much.